Grade 5 Theory Practice Paper 2020 and they're in the new multiple choice format. In the first question you're asked to tick the box which shows the name of the given note. The clef sign used in this question is a tenor clef sign and the thing to remember about the tenor clef sign is that the middle of the clef sits on the next to the top line of the stave and it fixes the pitch of the note written on this line as middle C. So that note is middle C. Having worked out that that is middle C, you can then work your way down to the given note. So the next line down, the middle line, will be two below middle C, it will be A. The next line down, the next to the bottom line, will be two below A, so it will be F. The bottom line will be two below F, so it will be D. The note which would be written on the first ledger line below the bottom line of the stave would be two below D, so it would be B. And the given note is just below that ledger line, so it is one step down from B, it is A. So we tick box A. The second question asks you to tick one box to show the correct enharmonic equivalent of the given note. Two notes which are enharmonic equivalent are notes which sound the same when you play them but are spelt differently. For instance, F sharp and G flat are spelt differently but when you play them they are the same note. So the given note is E. The first possible answer is D sharp. Well, D sharp is one semitone above D, so it is not E. F flat. Now remember that a flat sign doesn't necessarily mean a black note. It means one semitone below the written note. And one semitone below F is in fact E. So F flat and E are enharmonic equivalents. So we tick this box.